all right YouTube welcome back to my channel today I'm doing a video I don't know if you guys have seen the channel dr. taste good he wants me to do a beef and broccoli video so I made a video last night this ribeye was about twice this size last night I made a video but I kind of was dissing on another channel and I always believe that is bad karma so I didn't I didn't post the video but this steak was fantastic anyway doctor tastes good wants me to do a beef and broccoli video so that's what I'm gonna do this fine ribeye look at the marbling in that that's, that's, that's not even prime well, I, don't, I don't know I just buy this at my my local butcher here in town rustic cuts best butchers around anyway I'm gonna cut this up I think this is just a little bit smaller and then uh, the cast of characters it's gonna be some sambal olek some oyster sauce and some Poison sauce, some Sang stir fry oil, and some ramen noodles. Oh, can't forget the broccoli. That's one of the main players. Anyway, got the uh, got the coals going over there. Gonna put the carbon steel wok on the coal keep this sucker nice and hot let's uh crank you up over here see you just a little bit closer Walk heating up. That fire should that walk should be hot in no time. I'll bring you back when it's ready to rock and roll. When it's ready to walk and roll. <laughs> Alright, since the steak is already cooked and the broccoli's been steamed. It won't have to be in the wok for very long. You want to get your oil way up on the sides. Probably a couple tablespoons, I suppose. And anyone that's used this Sang's stir fry oil, you know the garlic flavor it has in it. I believe this is it's either cotton seed or linseed or something, so it can take extreme heat. Keep that oil nice and hot. right back as soon as that's hot all right she's hot let's get this meat in there this is all for you doctor taste good
Get that sucker nice and toasted up. I'm going to run in and wash my hands real quick. Forgot to tell you that I put a oh probably a couple tablespoons of uh, cornstarch in here. Give the meat a little coating. Take that off. Right, let's get the get the broccoli in there. I don't know if you can hear that sizzle over there. Big old Mike from the dude's kitchen. How do you not like broccoli? Especially when you dip it in watermelon. That's so good. Throw just a little bit of water in here. Get that steamed up nice. Bring it back when I put everything together. All right. I'm gonna put in the sambal. You can see it back there. Oh, good. Tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. I don't know. I don't measure anything. This the uh, poison sauce. Probably a tablespoon or so of that. And we got the oyster sauce. And I forgot to bring out the soy sauce. Be right back. All right. Got the soy sauce. Now get that mixed around a bit. meat in there. When it's ready to take out, I'll bring it back. All right, that sauce is just a little bit liquidy. Bring it over here and show you. Ooh, still got on um, super zoom. Let me do this. There we go. Yeah, you know, it's all liquidy and bubbling. We'll throw in some uh, cornstarch to get that thickened up. Cornstarch third slurry. Getting thick. Can't even give it a flip. Wow, that's hot. Let's see. Let me go turn the light on real quick. Here right back. Here we go. And throw our ramen noodles down here on the plate. 
and smell our broccoli and beef. Oh man, that smells fantastic. Let me see, I don't know. Uh, I'll do a thumbnail. bring you around here for this believe it or not there's noodles under there man that looks fantastic get a nice long shot here so I can screenshot it for a thumbnail hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe like share and I will see you on the next one Hope you all have a great Saturday. Four seasons out.